everyone so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to recreate this nail on this finger so then we're going to have a matching set in the end okay building so this is madame la palm by the way <laughs> she's a bit of a handful to maneuver um but yeah she's uh, she's good for photos let's just give that a little bit of a mix okay tap right now we're going to start building that nail plate extended nail bed right so powder liquid start that free edge um, and build downwards so pointing the nail down so then it'll help the acrylic floor down the nail build a nice free edge nice free edge extended nail bed I always say the wrong things You'll get used to it. <laughs> so we want this to reach all the way to about five. So let's keep pushing it left, right, down until it's nice and thin. And we've got a nice shape beginning to happen. Push that around there a little bit. So it matches that free edge on the edge there, on the sidewall. Sidewall free edge, whatever it's called. Oh my god, I speak rubbish. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Pull. Tap, tap, tap. Right, so I'm going to start doing many more videos. This um, isolation thing has got me really missing doing all these creative things and um, doing videos and just kind of doing it for myself, really, you know, rather than... No, sorry, let me start that again. Um, just doing it for myself and for the love of it. And... And that's so I'm gonna start doing more of these videos definitely. So we'll try to create like a long nail bed. Nail yeah, nail bed, oh my god. <laughs> hey. Right, so what I'm using here is a glitter bells um car powder. This is called Peach Bell Cover. I've only recently started using the acrylics and I quite like them. I feel like it does take me a bit longer than what it used to when I was using Brill Bird stuff. I still use Brill Bird stuff as well because it's amazing, I love it. Um, but yeah, I find that it takes me a bit more time to work with, but I do like it. Okay, so there we go, we've got this nice extended bed and now we're going to build the height and the apex i'm just going to cut the, i have to keep these there um, because it's a silicone hand um what i have to do is after i've put the form on i have to um, hold it on with sellotape otherwise it just um, goes everywhere okay totally excuse the state of my nails if anyone's noticed um it is um <laughs> Uh, they are terrible, sorry. I keep um, picking them off, which is like the worst thing we can do, and we really shouldn't be doing that. And pop them ones down. Oh, there. there we go. Right. Keep it on top. Start pulling down. You want to create a nice sharp edge as well down here and here. And then we will file it 
saw it. Um, so it's nice and flat. So when we put our acrylic on it, it um, sits nice and flush against it. Let's check the apex though. The apex is quite flat. Do that again. I'm just gonna check where my apex needs to be and then I'll place it, my bead on there. So apex here in the center of that nail bed, the natural nail bed. And that's the stress area. And start to pull down. And flatten. One bit on the edge. Oop, helps if you don't lose the acrylic bead. So on the edge, and then pull back to blend. Just so want to create a nice sharp cliff edge, and then push up, push up, glide, glide. And then make sure it's nice and flat. Yeah, we've got a nice flat top. Pull forward. Just try to sharpen it up. So I've done kind of like a little square. Sorry, square free edge. to them. Pull forward, pull forward again. Just one last bit in that centre where we've got that tiny little dip. Just to make sure it's all even. Just humming some um, take that in my head there. <laughs> I don't know why I like to hum when I work. Sorry, clients. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got that nail. That nail, extended nail bed. Okay, so we will just let that cure and then we'll be back in a second to file it. Right, welcome back and now we are going to file this free edge. So we're gonna start with a, a 150 or 100, a more abrasive file and that'll take away the acrylic much faster. And then just gonna really sharpen up them edges. Okay. Well I'll do is I'll fast forward this bit, so we're gonna go faster now, okay? And then we're going to file this side. So very flat. File it like this so you can see a bit more. Oop. I'll be a little bit of thin acrylic. I'll clean all that in a second. One side's always a bit harder to do. Oh well, I find it is anyway. I have to be careful not to snap them with the nails, otherwise, I won't fit my other stuff on there. Oh, it's hard. This side's hard. Thank <laughs> you. 
checking that it's in line and straight. A little bit more filing on this side. Right, change to your thinner file, your less coarse file. And this will start smoothing out. Right, and then your super thin file. Okay, so that's our free edge now nicely filed in line. Okay, so now we're going to build our free edge with this lovely red. Right, so I'm using this Glitter Bells red light district. You see, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So we're going to work on one side first and then the other side. Get it right into that corner as much as you can. That'll help you get a sharp edge. Thin it out. Create a line. The neater your work is at this point, the less you'll have to do filing wise and everything like that. Right, now do the other side. All right, I'm going to take a really small acrylic brush. This is my nail art acrylic brush. I'm just going to take a tiny bead and pop it right in that corner. Make that sharp line out of it, a sharp corner out of it, sorry. And then I'm going to do the same in this corner as well. I'm going to clean that up a bit first. Save in that corner.
right so we're doing the free edge um of the extended nail bed so now we're gonna really pull all that acrylic down and build up that point Try and keep it on top of the nail and pull it right down. All the way at the end. working on it you've got plenty of time to move that quick round right on the end and over the end as well and it'll help you create a little bit that you can file so it'll end up being quite pointy little dolls so we don't get no shadow in So now we're going to encapsulate and even this out. Okay, and it's the clear. To so start on the free edge, blend back. And you just start seeing all them lumps and bumps starting to disappear as well. Top of that long bit. Start to pull down. end 
So one last check of that free edge, which was still a few lumps, so just really encapsulate with that clear. And then we'll be good to go. As you can see now, it's much more flat on the top here. Right, so just double check your side. So this has got a bit of a delve. So that needs just a tiny bit. On the side. side where this little dove is as well okay so now we're nice and even okay I'm just going to let that cure just gonna let that cure and then we will file it. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, okay, so now we're going to file this nail. We've took the form off. So it's nicely cured, took the form off. So I'm gonna start by filing underneath the side wall. And try to avoid these two. <laughs> right, so 100 file and just start filing underneath until we are nice and straight. Okay, now this takes a while, so we will be fast forwarding, okay? I don't want you to get like super bored, so support the top. I'm gonna zoom out, I think. Okay, so now we filed the underneath so it's nice and straight uh, I'm going to file this left hand side so I'll file the whole nail okay. you can see right down and it'll even it all out as it's filing it yeah. File this right hand side. Right down that nail. Or you can file like right that. do the top And then blend it all together. Start working on rounding that nail. Okay, 
Okay, so I've repeated the steps of um, the underneath, uh, the two sides, the top, refining cuticle and uh, shaping the free edge or sharpening the very tip um, with a 180. Um, I just felt a little lump there. Um, so now I am going to just double check everything. There we go. Um, uh, now I'm going to just really sharpen that edge that point up so it's as sharp as it can be and i'm just going to use this natural nail file and roll over it like this and then this I'll zoom in so i can see it better can you see i'm rocking be patient yeah and then just blend it into the rest of the nail a bit more. See, so it just gets sharper and sharper. Okay. You see our overall shape? And right, now I'm just going to buff it. And then we'll top coat and put our um, there's a little ridge right there to do me head in. Right. There we go, that's better. Like a nice smooth round. I'm gonna do my own nails like are terrible. Right, get a buffer. Buff over the whole nail. Without smacking that other one. Oh god, please don't. Don't want to break that. So, off over the nail. So it's nice and smooth. And it'll help refine them little, like, um, marks that you've made with your file. smooth sharp just brush and now we are going to paint this with some top coat and then put our polka dots on there right so here we are back with our nails okay so we're going to top coat it with a shiny top coat so this is Brill Bird um, extra top, it's my favourite, most shiny top coat. Okay, I'm gonna put a nice layer, generous layer all over, generous coat, whatever you wanna say, all over, and smooth it out. It's all down the sides. Give me a few seconds to settle.
Ooh, sex a little nail. Ooh, it's a sexy nail. Oh, look at that light line. Wow, it's a good light line. Like, this is the light line here, if you don't know what it is. God, the nails are horrendous. I should have worn gloves. Sorry, that's not a bit of Right, yeah, I'm just going to point, whatever. Uh, right, uh, so this is your light line. Can you see this big, long, white line? That's the light shining off. If there's any dents in it, then either your, your shape's incorrect or um, the top coat hasn't been applied correctly or smooth enough. So... Right, we're just going to pop this in the lamp and then we'll be back to do our polka dots. Right, so we've put our top coat on, nice and cured. And so we're just going to do our polka dots. I'm just going to use a brush and go one from Brill Bird. Um, and this um, is a gel that cures without a tacky layer, so it's uh, brilliant for detailing at the end. And we're going to do some alternate polka dots and we're going to cure them in sections as well so we don't smudge them because i'm a smudger i end up touching and smudging okay so dip and then i'm going to start by doing a dot here oh i'm going to skip that is fine, you just get a bit of cleaner. And if you can see it from there, uh, smudged it. Told you I'm a smudger. Mm, I can't off here. So I'm just gonna use some cleaner. It's that easy, that simple, because we have top coated that, and you just clean it off, and voila, it never happened. Right, make sure it's dry first, and without slipping this time, do a dot okay and then alternate so we're going in like diagonals like a zigzag and this will help it not look regimented Okay, I've done them down the centre and I'm going to pop that in the lamp and then we'll cure. Right, so now we'll do the right hand side. This is all the way down here. Okay. And what I did is that I, I, I leave a gap. So leave a gap, put one here. So we're kind of on the line a little bit. And then, like here, that'll do. Yeah. And then we'll just fill up the gaps by alternating. And you can see. Yeah, so that's the like polka dots. This one will be off slightly. Always steady your hand. <laughs> Don't hover and try and paint. I need a little tiny one here. Yeah. I'd say that was a good amount. So you see it's quite spaced. Yeah. Cure. Right, now the left hand side. So again we'll work along this line, the smile line. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah, smell that looks cool. All right, now we're going to alternate. Just have some that like porking out. Yeah. I'm shaking. I'm just gonna have to do a tiny one here as well. This is so way. So the ones down the side are more like off the nail. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Pop that one in. I'm gonna let that do a full cure now. So here we go. Here's our finished nail. Oh, I love it. I feel like I should have done these on myself now. To be fair, for doing it on myself, it's absolutely, um, absolutely, it's really hard to do it on myself. Beautiful. Right, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, uh, and check out my other videos for what's on this nail, okay? All right, hope you'd enjoyed, and see you later. Bye.